Now at five, President Donald Trump is expected to be released from Walter Reed Medical Center sometime tonight. This after White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany announced in a tweet that she too has tested positive for COVID-19 days after the president's diagnosis. News of her infection now makes at least 12 people in the White House inner circle to be diagnosed. They include First Lady Melania Trump, former governor of New Jersey Chris Christie, who is now hospitalized, and Senators Mike Lee and Tom Tillis, who attended the most maskless Rose Garden ceremony for Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett, an event experts say may have been a virus super spreader. And here is a live look outside Walter Reed Medical Center where the president's supporters have been gathering all weekend. The president has been there since Friday for COVID-19 treatment. Within the next hour or two, the president could be back at the White House. CBS 4 Skylar Henry joins us live right now outside of Walter Reed Hospital with the latest on his condition. Skylar? Elliot Lauren, good afternoon to you. Well, a lot of the president's supporters are certainly jubilant about the news that the president could be leaving the hospital in the next hour and a half or so. His doctor said that he is back despite not being out of the woods just yet, but the president did make clear that he plans on leaving Walter Reed tonight somewhere around 630. Obviously, the move comes with some criticism as several people around him have tested positive for the coronavirus. President Trump says he will be discharged from Walter Reed National Medical Center later this evening to continue coronavirus treatment at the White House. Over the past 24 hours, the president has continued to improve. He's met or exceeded all standard hospital discharge criteria. He'll receive another dose of remdesivir here today, and then we plan to get him home. President Trump's supporters gathered here for a fourth day. White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany is the latest high-profile official to test positive for COVID-19. Hello. McEnany wasn't wearing a mask when she spoke to journalists this weekend, and now the White House is urging members of the media to get tested. Despite being sidelined from the campaign trail, President Trump continues to use Twitter, sending at least a dozen tweets from his hospital suite here on Monday, urging his supporters to go out and vote. I think we should be very cautious, as I've thought all along. And I'm going to continue to listen to the, to the scientists. 2020 Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden hit the campaign trail in Florida after his latest COVID test came back negative. Vice President Mike Pence and his wife Karen also tested negative for the virus. Pence is preparing to debate Democratic vice presidential candidate Kamala Harris in Utah on Wednesday. Now, one of the big questions that remains to be unanswered, Elliot and Lauren, is the fact that we still don't technically know when the president last tested negative for the coronavirus. That's important for contact tracing to try to see how many people could have potentially been around the president while he was COVID positive. We're here in Bethesda, Maryland. I'm Skylar Henry, it's Channel or CBS 4 News.